Have you ever wondered how enemies in games know where to walk, like they're following a fixed path again and again? That's called enemy patrolling, and it's used in so many games like Hitman or Metal Gear. In this video, I'll show you how to create that exact system in Unity, and it's actually easier than you think. Enemy patrolling is a super common mechanic used across many genres, especially stealth, action, and strategy games. I've created a simple scene with a character that has a navmesh agent component to interact with Unity's navmesh surface, along with an animator component to handle animations. To set up the navigation, I added a ground with a navmesh surface component and baked the navmesh by simply clicking the bake button. Now I've written two scripts, one to handle the path and another to make the character walk along that path. In the character script, I've taken references for navmesh agent animator and the path script. In the start method, I set the first waypoint as the agent's destination. Then, in the update method, I check if the player has reached near the destination. If so, I start a 1.5 second timer. Once the timer reaches the wait time, I reset the timer and update the agent's destination to the next waypoint. To define the path type, I created an enum with two options, loop and reverse when complete. To store the waypoints, I created an array of transforms and a variable for the path type enum. I also added two more variables, direction, which can be either minus one or one. Index, to keep track of the current waypoint. I then wrote a method to determine the next index based on the path type. If the path type is loop, the index increases normally. When it reaches the last waypoint, it loops back to the first waypoint. If the path type is reverse when complete, once the index reaches either the last waypoint or goes below zero, the direction reverses. Additionally, I created two methods to retrieve waypoint positions. To make the path visible in the Unity editor, I used gizmos, connecting lines between waypoints based on the path type, and spheres to mark each waypoint. In the inspector, I assigned the transforms to the path script and selected a path type, either loop or reverse when complete. In the character script, I assign the path script reference. For animations, I created a blend between idle and walk animations, controlled by a speed parameter. If speed equals 1, the character transitions to the walk animation. If speed equals 0, it transitions back to idle. In the character script, I converted the current velocity into a normalized value between 0 and 1, and assigned that value to the animator's speed parameter. And that's it! With this setup, the character now follows a defined path while smoothly transitioning between animations based on movement speed. I hope this video helped you understand the concept clearly. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like the video, and comment below if you have any questions or ideas for the next tutorial. And if you're serious about learning game development, then hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey. I've got many more helpful Unity videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.